Hey guys, what's up? Chemistry here. This is my first video of my possibly new series, uh, just where I'm going to show you simple tricks and tips uh, under hopefully 10 minutes. Um, just providing you with useful information on how to use FL Studio, how to manipulate samples, what we're going to about to do, working with vocals. I don't know, just little things that I found helped when I was producing, something I figured out on my own, something I learned from others and I want to spread. And yeah, so I, I'm just going to try to get you guys to learn useful new things as fast as possible and get you guys, you know, producing because no one always wants to watch a 20 minute video and I know I make a lot of those, but I'm trying to cut them down shorter so that's what this series is going to be about. So um, I'm going to take out this sample here. I know that's loud, I'm going to turn that down right now. And it's just this sample, it's playing at 138 BPM, at least that's what it says if you look closely right here. So what I should probably be doing here is moving down the tempo of my project to 138 BPM. Um, if you change the tempo without doing anything to the sample, see how it's just moving like crazy? Um, that's actually kind of normal we can change things so it doesn't move and we can change things so the pitch doesn't change so that's what this tutorial is going to be all about some samples actually doesn't let doesn't let you know what the actual BPM of the recording was because this is already a recorded uh, sample so I can't really change anything I can't go back and record it again because it's not even my recording so what I'm gonna have to do is work with what I have and manipulate it so it still works in my project but the people who recorded this uh, is letting me know that it was playing at a tempo of 138. So what I did is I changed my tempo of my project to identically 138. Now if I double click on this pattern, it'll bring up the channel settings. Um, what you want to do is right click on time, left click on auto detect, and then it will bring up this page here. FL Studio will just give you an estimate of what they think the tempo is at, and they're actually probably 100% on that, um, what they have, 138.524. And you can go with the estimate, but I don't recommend, because a lot of times they do have it wrong. Um, you can type in the BPM or just use the project tempo. And if you do have the project tempo identical to the sample, I would just click on project tempo. All right, now, basically what we just did is we just told FL Studio that that sample right there that sample was playing or was recorded at 138 beats per minute. We just told FL Studio that that sample is a 138 beats per minute sample. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, so if we change the tempo now, I'm changing the tempo and it's not even moving. It's just staying put. If I move the tempo up to, let's say, 170, which is ridiculously faster than what it was earlier. Notice how the pitch completely changed. It's totally off. And that screws up your entire song, right? Um, to have the pitch not do that, go into resample and then hit pro transient. It's the second one. Now what that's going to do is just going to restretch the waveform so that the pitch is identical to what it was when it was in originally 138. So even though I'm at 170 beats per minute right now, it's going to sound just like what it was at 138 beats per minute, but faster. Now you can implement it in your project. So I'm going to take my second example here, and it's 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 an eight bar um, sample, and I'm gonna take that down to 138 because that also is playing at 138 beats per minute. I'm gonna delete that old sample here. All right, so VEC3 is telling me that this was also recorded at 138 beats per minute. If I just play it for you guys.
Now notice how there is a, a little bit of space there in between uh, the last bar or the last quarter bar from eight to nine here, and it loops perfectly. Um, now when I'm talking about eight bar samples, I just wanna let you guys know that uh, this right here from five to six, that's a bar. If you press two while you're on the playlist, you'll have the default zoom. If you press one, you'll have like a really zoomed out. Press three, you'll be really zoomed in. Press two and you'll have like a nice zoom. And this is just, this right here, these four quarters, that's just a full bar. Uh, it changes, or the background color changes from light gray to dark gray every four measures, or four bars. Bars can be referred to as measures, um, but this is not quite the same score, so I'm just using bars. Um, so this is a ba eight bar sample here, so it's relatively long, and we want to change it and make sure that this little space at the end doesn't get too manipulated because that can mess with things. So I'm going to right click on time, hit auto detect, and this time I'm just going to type in the beats per measure. So I know that this beat, this sample um, is playing at 138, so just erase all that and type in 138, and that'll do the exact same thing uh, that we did earlier. So the time knob just changed a little bit. We're letting FL Studio know that this was a sample played at 138 when it was recorded. Um, we don't want the pitch to change, so we're gonna hit Pro Transient. So things are gonna change. Um, the waveform's gonna change, and then we're gonna we're gonna slow it down. How about we're gonna slow it down to 105 beats per minute? Should restretch all samples. Hit yes. Now listen to it. It's gonna be much slower, and the pitch is gonna be exactly the same. So I have this this thing. You probably all recognize it. It's from Crying in the Rain by Nordic Stars and it's just just this part I guess when she does that and I have the a cappella for you guys here and we're going to figure out what tempo it's playing at and how to work with it, I guess. Um, so now notice how the title doesn't actually tell me what tempo it is. But the original song is, you know, you could probably find that on Google. Just search up Nordic Stars, Crying in the Rain, BPM, Tempo, something like that. It might, it might give you, but let's say you couldn't find the tempo online. So just left click on the metronome light here and it'll give you a little metronome. It'll kind of drop you a quick beat. Notice around the end it kind of wasn't on. At the beginning it sounded okay but around the end it wasn't really on. Now right now the tempo is at 140 so that was just kind of a guess of mine. I think the song is around 140. It kind of makes sense. It's just some kind of hands up y kind of song, you know, and it's 140 is around a general area. So that was kind of my guess. You can use FL Studio, they'll, they'll have a little guess themselves. You right click auto detect, and it says 141 estimated. So what the hell? Let's try it. 141. <laughs> Well, it looks like it sounded pretty good to me. I mean, um, <laughs> that was just kind of lucky. FL Studio is pretty good at estimating this kind of stuff, but let's say you're kind of skeptical. Um, let's put it to 142 now. 142 beats per measure. Let's see how that sounds. If it's too fast, then we'll bring it down to 141 and we'll keep it there. Na, 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 na. Yeah, it, I think the metronome was moving too fast, so let's keep it at 141. You can also see that the sample actually ends right at the end of that 8 bar line. So that is also a good sign. 
Now you can tell that the sample was working so that you could just stick it on the top here and it just fit perfectly. Some of them doesn't do that. Sometimes you're going to have to move it around like this. Just click on the magnet, hit none, and then you'll have uh, very, very good precision. Um, then you can just click and drag it uh, very accurately to where you want. Um, just, to, just in case your sample isn't actually aligned. Um, you can tell that if you look really closely here, it's kind of a mountain, and then it kind of looks like it gets bigger, like very quickly, right here. Um, ish. And that probably means that's when she actually starts. This part, from, from where my square is, this part doesn't really seem to, to be much. It's kind of just building in, but when you actually realize that it's there, it's around this part. So you want to align each bar so that it kind of gets those kind of thicker lines. So you can, that's just aligning is what you're, you would be doing at that point. Na, 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 na. But yeah, so we found the tempo. Now we can just right click on time, auto detect. We'll just use the project 141 Pro Transient. Let's make a happy hardcore remix. Let's bring it all the way up to 175. Free stretch channels. Yes. Um, let's get a kick. Take out the tempo or the metronome. Um, one, twelve. Okay, let's do this. Now we'll just throw those kicks there. And it works, right? So it was really just that easy. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you need any more suggestions, or, well, I, I, I guess I would need suggestions, but I could suggest things to you. I, if you need any more help or you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be sure to answer those. Uh, I do take requests for future tutorials, so if you guys have any ideas or you're just wondering about something, that would be a good topic for a tutorial. Preferably something that not everyone makes, you know, because a lot of people already do tutorials like me and... You know, I, I see a lot of tutorials out there, so I don't want to be like one out of a hundred people making the same tutorial. Because I know a lot of people probably do explain things better than I do, but I'm totally open to making any tutorials guys want, as long as I'm knowledgeable about it. This was relatively longer than what I would have liked. Uh, I'm trying to keep it at least under 10 minutes. If I have to go over that, it shouldn't be much longer than 15. This is the first video I'm kind of putting a lot in there. In future tips and tricks tutorials, I will probably be just kind of showing you and then stopping, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be going to very much. That's just for this tutorial. So yeah, enjoy that. If I have any questions, let me know. And good luck.